so we have in our example um, which one are we looking at? 44? 44. Okay. Um, so you our universe is A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. I'm leaving out the commas. Okay. Um, our set A is, what, what was the set A? Just read it out to me. Um, set A is ACF. ACF. Um, our set B is, um, what was it? Sorry. Um, it's okay. Uh, B, C, D. You mean for B? Yeah. B, C, D. B, C, D. Okay. So, our problem is... Um, find A prime union B prime. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, so, we're thinking... Um, like 5 squared plus 6 squared, um, um, which means that we have to find 5 squared and 6 squared first. Okay. Okay. So, let's zoom this out. All right. Um, now my procedure mm -hmm. um, that I'm recommending is find a prime and b prime as if they're their own problem. So we might as well list a prime. And the way I want to list a prime is I'm going to go through and cross off the elements in U okay. that are in A, all right? I'm not going to actually cross them off. Um, I'm going to underline them in red. Okay, A, C, and F, so I'm right there. A, C, and F are in A, which means that A prime consists of What's left? B, B D, D E F B D E G. Right. Okay. Um. I can play the same game. I I guess I gotta, you know, write you again. So I have A B C D E F G, and then my computation of B prime involves crossing off um, B, C, and D. Okay. Which leaves me with uh, B prime, A, E, F, and G. A, E, F, and G? Yeah. So, um... What I did was I said B was um, B, C, and D, mm -hmm. right? I listed U. This was U originally. Mm -hmm. I crossed off the elements that are in B, and what's left is A prime. And all this is is like an accounting system to make sure you don't leave anything out. Okay. Okay? Um... So again, I'll, I'll demonstrate it for A prime again. So what I do is I list you A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, right? Mm -hmm. I list uh, A, which is A, C, and F, okay? okay? The way that I compute A prime, I cross out A, C, and F because that's what's in A. Okay, and what's left gets promoted to A prime, and it's B, D, E, and G. Okay. Again, all, all this is is a systematic way to make sure you don't screw up.
Okay. Okay. Now, the original problem... So is that the answer? No, no, no. The original problem was to find A prime union B prime, mm -hmm. right? All I did was I found an intermediate step in that path. Like, if I'm adding 5 squared plus 6 squared, the first thing I do is figure out that 5 squared is 25 and 6 squared is 36. I still have to add them, mm -hmm. right? So all I've done is I figured out the analog to 5 squared and 6 squared. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, it's an issue of adding them. I have two sets. Any sets in the world, how would I go about forming their union? Like, let's come up with a systematic way to write out the union. Okay. Um, I would recommend write out the elements in the first set. Okay, so A prime union B prime. First thing we got to do is write out the u elements in the first set. Mm -hmm. Right? Now we're going to write down the elements in the second set. But we're not going to write down anything that we've already written down. Okay. okay. So we got um, these two sets. So I, I went left to right for A prime, B, D, E, and G. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go left to right on B prime. Okay, A is in there. E, I've already got it. Right? Because it, um, you know, A prime is, sorry, B prime, this, this set, the first thing that I wrote down was A prime. Okay? okay? Just because I wrote it on the left. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I, so I went, you know, A prime, I did it. Now I'm going to go one by one through B prime. And I'm going to say, A, are you already on the list? No? Okay, we'll add it. E, are you already on the list? Yes. No need to add it. F, are you already on the list? Nope. Let's add F. Okay. G, is G already on the list? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. B, D, E, G, A, F. Okay, let's zoom, in, zoom way out. And look at what happened here. Uh, so this is for the sake of the video. Oh, so we took all of them that hmm? that was not that were no that were not uh, repeating, right? So I'm just gonna go back through the whole process. What happened? We started with uh, U, A, and B, mm -hmm. right? Um. We knew that to find A prime union B prime, first order of business is to find A prime and B prime. Right. Not the answer, but we got to do it. Okay? So I'm just going to set about finding B prime and A prime in, mm -hmm. independently of the problem. Um, how do I find B prime? I list out U. I cross off the elements in B. Whatever is left is B prime. All right. How do I find A prime? I uh, again I list out the elements in U, cross out the elements of A. What's left here is uh, A prime. Now I'm set up to find um, this second part of the problem here. Um, which is A prime union B prime. Um, by analogy, it's like we're trying to figure out 5 squared plus 6 squared. First thing we do is go figure out 5 squared, that's 25. 6 squared is 36. Now, we've got to add the two. Our method for adding two sets, um, union is like adding. Uh, we're adding A prime to B prime. We're making a new guest list. So let's go ahead and throw in everybody on the list A prime. Okay, so we just copy that over. B, D, E, and G. All right? Okay. Now, 
I gotta go one by one through the elements of B prime and check for duplicates. And if there are, you know, I, I don't wanna list something twice. Okay, so I go in and I say, was A on the list to begin with? No, it wasn't, so I'm throwing A in there, okay? Was E on the list to begin with? Yeah, it was. So no need to list E again. F wasn't on the list, so I add it. And G was on the list already, so no need to add it again. Okay? And... Right. So that's it. The crowd goes wild. Right? And um, so for um, intersection, 